So Cal, this chart shows the 100 facts that the children need to learn. When you take a look at it, you can see that there's one add-in down the left-hand side, and we have another 10 add-ins across the top. And if a teacher wants to find, or a child wants to find the sum of the two numbers, you just look at the intersecting point between mm -hmm. the two add-ins. So 6 out of 4 is 10. Mm -hmm. There's 100 facts here. What's the best approach for learning those? Well, a few years ago, we used to concentrate on learning just those facts where the answer was small. So but in this triangle here, all the, the sums up to five. That's right. Mm -hmm. So there were small numbers, so it was easy for children. And then over time, we would gradually build up maybe the facts up to 10. Right. And then in combination and then like the 10, rest. And then and then a beyond. bit later on. But now we have, after years of research, uh, identified strategies that are really helpful for children. So mm -hmm. it's a slightly different approach. Slightly different in the sense we end up with facts you learn, but we do it in a different sequence. How long ago did this research start? About, You're talking about research. When about 20 it? years ago, but it's been refined over that 20 right. years. So mm -hmm. now what we do is we start off by uh, emphasizing those facts where one number that you add is fairly small. We call those the count on facts. Count on facts, yes. So you're adding basically one, two, uh, zero. So Everything uh, down this, this side of the chart. That's right. Mm -hmm. And the next strategy that we organize our learning around is uh, use doubles. Mm -hmm. And that's where one of the numbers is a double, one pair of numbers is a double, and then facts close to a double. So that's going to be, I guess, the diagonal of the chart. Uh, double six is 12. That's right. Or double three, so it's everything down this center. That's right, and close by. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. and